Hi guys. Uh, firstly, I want to straight away thanks to say a big word of thank you to uh, WC Board of Directors, of course, for giving a possibility to present this style, which is American smooth. Uh, secondly, I'm very honored to say a big word of thank you to the Social Dance Committee for hosting this uh, classes online and as you might know now actually nowadays it's becoming more and more popular to have uh, zoom and live classes and I guess uh, there are some beneficial points of it and I'm happy that uh, even if we were not able to be all together in Blackpool I'm very happy that we are here now from Moscow can share with all of you our uh, few little tips and few little knowledges that we do have in this style with all of you how it's actually developing in Europe what are the first steps and what is the beauty of this style? I want to make a small adjustment that uh, in this class today with me will be Olga, Olga Krasnyanska. And she is uh, not only a student of mine, she's a person who actually decided to promote and develop this style over in Russia. And uh, honestly, that uh, made a huge impact on many, many dancers here in Russia, in Moscow, and uh, not only the adults, but also a young generation. Now, taking uh, into consideration that this style is quite new for our territory or for the European uh, audience, uh, it's been already a while on the dancing stage. And we know that since 1984, this style already was presented as a competitive style. And even if it was before brought as a Broadway uh, style of dances and it was very much familiar with the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers that were performing on screen. Now it is very much familiar. People know about the style already watching the competition. And you might know that in Blackpool already a professionals hosted four or five years, I guess, of uh, events and they were of a great success. Now, today we're not talking about what will be uh, in the uh, far future. We're talking that we need to implement this style or to promote this style or to give a flavor or to give a right feeling to the people who are just coming to the dancing studio and want to learn this style. Here with me actually is a great example because 10 years ago, this lady, she was doing a belly dancing, a little bit of Latin, a little bit of ballroom, different styles. But over the years, she switched into American style and uh, till now she's saying that this is the most beautiful style she ever danced before. And also when the competitions are going around the, the, um, the Europe people, when they watch the style, they always fall in love with it, watching it and trying it and dancing it because it has a variety of choices, variety of choices in the holds, in the positions, in the musical expression, in the movement of the body, in the different types of the movement that we can implement inside this dance. Though it is only four dances, as far as you know, it's a waltz, tango, slow foxtrot or foxtrot and venus walls we can inside these four ballroom dances we can implement lots of movements from ballet from jazz from uh modern styles from ballroom of course latin so it has a variety of choices but to start with of course you need to know what are the first steps to get a person uh, get known with this style and to fall in love with this style and to feel the actual uh, fluidity of this style. And for you, we prepared small uh, groups of steps, which are very, um, very unique for this style. And uh, they give an option from the ballroom basic steps, how you can develop them into the smooth step. And without any kind of the extra difficulty, there is another layers or another dimensional movements within the basic steps. Before we go to this uh, choreography, let me share with you a screen and I will show you the charts, which one you can find uh, online. Uh, it's not a problem. They are free of charge. You can download them. And these charts, they are divided into separate columns and they are presenting by bronze, silver and gold how the progression is going with the positioning, with the holds, with the timing, with the feet and with the proximity. So this chart gives a clear idea, clear understanding how we progressing from a level to level. Not only the figures that we are learning, but actually the uh, 
levels of difficulty that are implemented. So now I'm gonna share my screen. Hi everyone, I'm just closer to the screen now. So um, here we are. Now, can you see this uh, columns? So you can see halt, position, proximity, feet and timing. And you can see also bronze, silver, gold, and uh, the definitions also at the end. Now, we're gonna cover today just the uh, bronze level. Of course, it's the beginner's level. And you can see in the hold wise, you can see it going with a traditional ballroom hold, which you are very familiar with because that's what we are doing as the ballroom style. Then there is alternative traditional bronze. That means we are still maintaining uh, the arms in the position, but we are not actually in the uh, contact. And we can uh, change slightly the arm style, which I will show you later. Then we go to the frame hold. Then we go double hand hold, single hold, uh, handshake, walls, and waterfall only as the figure in the bronze. Now you can see in the positions, we have also closed, uh, counter prominence, prominence, uh, open left and right sides. So with the proximities, you can go with a body contact, close. Uh, that means not having a body contact because sometimes the partners, they can be a high different, uh, big uh, difference in height weight. Uh, and uh, that gives the possibility not to stick to each other and extended, which is still within the hands, but it is already wider. Then with the feet, you can see uh, the main important part is the opposite feet only. So we are not taking any shadow positions, which actually creates a beauty of the style, but I will show you some tricks, how you can uh, move to the kind of a look of the uh, shadow position, though maintaining opposite feet. And then uh, with the timings, it gives you uh, some of the understanding that we cannot syncopate lots of steps. There will be only chasse, that is syncopation and without any turns. So that is exactly what we teach in ballroom that we need to learn to transfer the weight from foot to foot and nicely close our feet and balance and change the weight. So this is the goal of the bronze level. Now, as the beauty of this style, I'm now stopping to share the screen. So this um, chart I can send or you can download it from, it's not a problem, but this gives you a very clear guideline. And actually thanks to Tony Redpath, Michael Mead, who created that a few years ago, it gives a clear understanding even when you prepare the couples for the competitions or you do a medal test or something like that. So now I'm back to my screen. Okay, so now, in a relation of the hold. As you saw, there is a ballroom hold, which one we all know from the ballroom style. And this one is very typical to the ballroom, uh, any dance like you're doing in walls or in tango when the lady is going uh, in tango position. So it is very similar. Now, when we go to alternative hold, that means I can drop slightly the arm down and the lady can open the arm to the side. This already creates a more extended version of the line. Yeah. And we can use it usually for changes of contact or changes of the positions when we are opening somewhere in the open, uh, in this case, left tight position. Then we have a hold, which is dictating by the frame hold. Frame hold is we have a frame and we can have a frame when we keep to the shoulder blade the arms, then we can slide slightly to the elbow, then we can go wider to the wrist, then we can go to the hand, which is double hand hold, yeah? And this double can, uh, hand hold can be as a clasp hold, which is typical ballroom, or a link hold, which is a typical Latin hold. So you have already a variety of these choices, a link, clasp, and the proximity between the partners. Now, that positions are dictated by the proximity we are going. There is also an option still in bronze level in the beginners, a one hand hold. That's a great option because it gives already a quite wide and open position uh, to both of us where one side is connected with each other, the other one creating lots of decorations. Olga, can you show a beautiful decoration with your arm? Yeah, this is, emotionally very much refilled and here you don't stop your people to do it uh, you just 
push them to put emotions into whatever they feel with the music they can do with this hand. Now we can do from the other side as well. We have an option from the right side position and we can do the same here and towards each other. And now we are doing a rock step towards each other and away from each other or a hesitation step. So this is an option. The other option, which is a nice, is when two presidents are meeting each other, they're having a handshake hold, they're shaking hands. So this handshake hold is very uh, unique for this style because like that, we are connected with each other, but the other hand is also nicely can dance uh, music and change to another handshake hold and change again and change again and once again. So this style actually, or oh, this exercise as a separate exercise can be done a lot with your students because here they learn how to connect before they reconnect. They connect, they reconnect, yes. And we can use as a wall section, rise and lower, which is also very nice. It is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is just before even going into the step section. Now, said about all this hold, uh, and the possibilities of extending. We know that there are four dances. We know there's waltz, tango, foxtrot, Venus waltz. And uh, in few of the dances like waltz and foxtrot, we have a lot of crossover steps. So for example, we have a twinkle, a prominent twinkle, or a turning twinkle. So this step uh, or these figures as they are, they are progression from something that we learned already in ballroom. If you teach your students a change step, which is a forward side close, backward side close, which we call as a box step, we develop this, uh, this uh, steps from the basis of the ballroom. So that's why it is important to understand that the basis of rise and lower of the contact of the change of positions, promenades, counter promenades are also vital. So now, if we take as a, as a first movement and I take my student and say, okay, today we're gonna learn a change step. We will start with the left foot forward because the left foot for the gentleman, in this case, every single step in smooth starts with the left foot. Why? Simply because if you come to your work and you are tired and you are, your brain is somewhere else, you know that you need to start with the left foot. So you, need, you don't need to hesitate. Secondly, because in this hold, in the close hold, this leg is easier to move rather than the other one. So starting with the left foot, we tell to our students, we do a change step. So we go forward, we go side, we go close. As we progress forward, we move now from the right foot, forward, side, close. And I guess I don't need to explain a lot about this step because this thing you know quite well. Now, if we move slightly back so you can see us better. If I tell to my student, okay, today we're gonna learn a twinkle, a simple twinkle. We learn the twinkle by diagonally turning our feet towards the wall, yeah? And we will progress line wise. So we'll move in one line. We take the step in one line. We collect our feet and by lowering, we change another diagonal. So here the student already learns how to create a torsion, a twist and understanding of two centers, up and lower part, lower part, how they can change the direction. Though my upper part is staying the same with my partner, my feet are turning from counter prominent position to the prominent position. And that is like a screw when you open a bottle, sorry for example, but I guess all the adults here in our lesson. So if you tonight will open the bottle, just feel how you screw it in and how you open it out. So it's the same, you screw in to open a new step and you screw in to open a new step. I can hold my partner for a balance, of course, for the position and we can do several times the same step. That educational moment is also very important. It takes a while. 
still the lady if she wants to wave the hand and to do everything beauty with the music they are allowed to do the important part you are concentrating downwards what is going on the beautiful swan is flying around or swimming around the uh, lake but the feet are working they are constantly doing their job that is the task so we are doing once again one two three four five six one two three nice now as you know we have forward steps and we have backward steps so if i tell to my student today we're gonna do a back change we go one two three four five six in this case if i will tell so we're gonna do a backward simple twinkle we'll start with the right leg okay because the gentle move starts with the left forward so we already need to know that we will twist our feet diagonal to the wall and we move back back and change back back and change back back and change back back and change good when we learn this step we say that that is the basis of uh change step that develops into the twinkle. And then from there, we will go to the prominent twinkle or a turning twinkle, which are very two unique, beautiful steps. And you can link them as one uh, small choreography, one small group. I will show you as an example of the progression from the change step. So I take my partner in the ballroom hold without a contact, no contact. So I don't want to step on your feet and I want her to feel the frame. I will do as a change step. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, I will say, we're gonna change to the twinkle motion. Simple twinkle, the lady will progress backwards. I will move forward. By changing the contact, you will, if you're trying now, you can feel that my uh, right arm in this hold is quite uncomfortable. So by turning the body, I'm sliding my arm or to the elbow hold or to the double hand hold, which will give already a bigger circle. Now she feels comfortable and we go as a twinkle back, back, and we change the contact. Back, back for the lady, change the contact. Nice. So you can see we are changing from the left to left position to the right to right position. Slightly like a Caucasian dances going around each other, but though we're maintaining the ballroom style. Once again, a twinkle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Now, if the lady feels quite comfortable in this position, we say, so now we're gonna learn with you a prominent twinkle. So in this case, the lady doesn't change nothing. Actually, he's, she's not turning. She's staying in a prominent position. The gentleman is coming to the prominent position. You can see I'm, uh, I moved my right hand to the uh, um, shoulder blade and I'm in this prominent position, but this figure doesn't stop here. We go back and forward into counter prominent and back to prominent. So we go one, in this case, lady is changing to the prominent. We open into the one hand hold, which is my left and the lady's right. But the name of this is a left hand hold. And we do once again a prominent and we can end up the figure going back into the closed position. So as the figure state, we go as a twinkle, one, two, three, prominent position, two, two, three, counter prominent position in the left hand hold, three, two, three, back to the prominent position and we can close. Now, I usually give to my students a more advanced version because in Russia, they like like everything today. Now I want to learn it uh, in one day and tomorrow I want to go competition. So I'm implementing after the prominent twinkle, I'm implementing a new step, which is a turning twinkle. For gentlemen, it is if he's experienced uh, uh, dancer as a professional, he can lead well. He is actually doing just the frame lead. So from prominent twinkle, when we will move forward, I will send my lady forward 
and I will move here into two hand hold. So you can see as a gentleman, I just did forward, forward, crawls, close. So I didn't turn, I didn't do nothing. My goal was to send the lady as far to Kamchatka as possible. Sorry, my fault because it's a bronze step. And one, two, three. The lady is closing the feet and we are getting again this extended position. Now, turning twinkle. She is coming forward. She's going side. And here we are. You remember when I told you that we can do tip like a kind of a look of the shadow position. I'm putting the hand around. She's turning more. And we are like in the shadow position, but the bronze level doesn't permit us to be on the same foot. So she's now on her right foot. I'm on my left. We are perfectly fitting the rules, but we are body wise in the shadow and she is moving forward and close. Yeah. Now, if I join all the steps together, I do change step. One, two, three, four, twinkle. One, two, three, four. Prominent twinkle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, turning twinkle. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so you can see with just a change step, we created lots of volume, lots of movement, lots of variety of the choices uh, when we change our context and body line. That is the beauty of this movement. Now, we have some more time. Now, I actually prepared kind of the uh, paper. So you can see a change step moves into the simple twinkle, goes from a simple twinkle, moves into prominent twinkle from prominent twinkle we progress into the turning twinkle and here we are a rabbit from the from the head bang we go to progressive changes and twinkles continuity style this is my russian language you see i made a mistake but that is something that i usually do when i make a note so now progressive style changes and twinkles what does that mean? You all know progressive steps when we don't close our feet on three. This is on three on walls, of course, and on four in Foxtrot. And this gives to the people feeling of that they are flying around the floor. And uh, personally, uh, I will show you as an example. Olga, she went straight away into the continuity style. She said, I want to do smooth. I saw this competition. Wow, they wave around, they fly around. I want to do this style. And we started to learn, of course, open gold choreographies, first competition. Now, after 10 years, we understood that the basis, the fundamentals were not there. And she was afraid to show some of the steps today because simply closing the feet and changing the weight was a difficult part. Though she won two times black hole, that was not an issue. But I promise you, sooner or later, if you don't give a right education in the beginning, people will need to come back to this and they need to learn this. But we will show you a continuity style, but I will not take a progress, um, the change step. I will go straight away into the twinkle step. And from a twinkle step, I will go to the prominent twinkle, open prominent twinkle. And then you will see a nice conversion from a prominent twinkle. I will change the hand into the same handhold shake, handhold a uh, little, handshake position. Yeah, and you will see a figure which was called when we were watching charts, waterfall. Waterfall is when we were doing these changes. You remember the exercise that we've done? Now, the synchronization of the upper part now will match with the twinkle that we've done before with the feet. Hope that everything will go good. Now, skipping the change step, we straight away go into the twinkle silver level when we have a continuity style we don't close our feet yes we don't close our feet one two turn three four five six one two three four five six i'm going to promise one two three four prominent one forward forward one two prominent four prominent 
when I'm leading my lady to promenade all the time. Counter promenade, promenade. And here we are, I'm changing the hand and she's continuously doing this and I'm doing my water fall. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is an evolution, but you need first, of course, to teach the lady a, a twinkle in a continuity style. One, she going back. She feels how she bring the way towards the foot, but the feet are not closing. And she follows into three, one, three, one, two. The head is changing. Three, one, the head is changing. Three, one, the head is changing. Now I can allow my lady to use the hand. I can allow my lady to use the hand, but remember, use the hand only one of two, not waving them both. Otherwise, it becomes a carda ballet. Carda ballet, we don't need. We need always have a frame and the, sh and the design. Frame and the design. So let the person feel. Now, I forgot to tell you also in the beginning that there is a certain rules when you're preparing your students for the medal test or for the competitions. There is a rule of 12 bars. The rule of 12 bars goes that the first four bars, you need to dance as a closed hold. So ballroom hold, you can do in contact or without the contact, that doesn't matter, but you cannot go to alternative hold. So you need to do four bars in this position or that. You cannot drop. So if, for example, I will prepare my student for, event, uh, for a test, I will do as a box step, turning box step one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and maybe a twinkle, four, five, six. So as the last figure, I was still in hold, but I did a twinkle. After that, I can do a box step, one, two, three. I completed the rule of four bars, and I can go with the underarm turn. So a box step with the underarm turn, one, two, three, and then we go to the face to face and back to back and face to face, change of places, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we are, our prominent twinkle, one, two, three, four, five, six, our turning twinkle and to the beginning left turn. So as a small choreography, you can see, I use the box step, left reverse turn. I use the change step into the twinkle. I use the first part of the box step with a basic underarm turn. So underarm walking underarm, which is a uh, typical first of the smooth basic steps. So when you teach your student, uh, stationary doing the box step one two three four five six and when they feel comfortable moving this box step using the shapes maybe a little bit sways yes you can say so now we do the first part of the box step one two three now on the three i release the hold to the two hand hold we implement small smooth step into it this is the underarm walking one, two, three. In this case, you can see that Olga now did the third step as a continuity step. There are steps in smooth from one level to another. They called bridge steps, which prepare the student for a new level. So in this case, when she did the box step, she moved as a twinkle first part, as a twinkle as a second part, and now she opened up the third step moving sideways, which actually was not fitted in the rules that you close on number three, but it had an, a feel of the three step turn. One, two, three, or one, two, three, which later the lady will do a lot. So that is already kind of the introduction of the new advanced version. So let us show again this box step. We do one, two, three. The lady's moving two, two. The man still close his feet. And then we go three, two, three. And we are back to the box step as we started four, two, three. 
Now, as you can see, we are always continuously uh, turning uh, 45 degrees. So if we start again, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we are, we are we, with a new alignment. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is also a very nice step to teach in the beginning. Now, uh, I hope we have a little bit more time. Uh, yes, we have more time. Good. Now, um, that is something that you can use in walls and foxtrot. I mean, t twinkles and the box step. This is uh, crossover figures. And uh, I can show you now two versions. I will put the music of walls and I will put the music of foxtrot. You can see easily that they are uh, applicable for both of the dances. And they are also very nice uh, to dance because they have uh, this fluidity of, uh, of the body plus the uh, rise and lower. Now, look at this once as we'll present it with the music. So, Olga, prepare. We will do as a change step first. One, two, three, four. Twinkle. Promenade twinkle. Turning twinkle. Now progressive. Waterfall. And from the beginning, change step. Nice. As a box step, can we do once again the box step? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I will put the Foxtrot music and you can see that this is doable the same with the Foxtrot music. Apart that we do have, wow, Sono Italiano from Moscow. Change step. Twinkle, turning twinkle, prominent, sorry. Continues, prominent, waterfall, follow forward. Follow forward. So you can see that this can be danced with both of music. Just mention that slow will be two beats, quick, quick will be three, four. Now, now I hope I have another five minutes because before introduction was a little bit longer. Uh, for tango and Venus walls, what I wanted to tell you. I will not give the ballroom steps in the beginning, but there are lots of change of places in tango, especially in Venus walls, which can be one, three, one, one, three, one, or one, three, one. And they are very nice to dance together because it gives the feeling of the ballroom, of the champagne, of the nice bubbles, a nice feeling of the uh, having fun, actually. Uh, at the entrance, you can have Venus cross in tango and in the Venus walls, which is in Venus walls cross uh, called cross body lead, which one you maybe know from salsa cross body lead when you open the road and the lady passes. But here we have as an option, the prominent position to lead the lady into the open position. I will shortly show you the versions of the change step, which one you can use. I wrote them here. Now, take the picture if you want or there will be online materials, educational materials we can, which one you can use. Change of places, we'll do turn in place, half of the turn. Men's chassis, 
Shasta with the same handhold, sorry, one letter was out of the, of the screen, men's hesitation and with inside underarm turn. Look the options and learn them as well. So we start with the men's uh, being from the left side position. Now, turning place, half turn, very simple. Give a kiss, open. Give a kiss and open to another place. Now, now there is a change of place with men's chasse. Sha, a, se, sha, a, se. Now, if I will tell you, Olga, give a tango style and sha, a, se, sha, a, se. So that gives already a different flavor, but still the step is the same. Now, we have an option with a chasse, man is doing a chasse, but keeping the same hand hold. For the lady, it will be just a little bit twisted at the end, like a selfie, uh, selfie position when you're doing a photo. And quick, quick, slow. This is a selfie. And other way around. So you can see I did the chasse, but I'm keeping the hand. And other way around, quick, quick, slow. What I can do as a gentleman, I can lead intangibly with my hand the lady to her, back, to her spot where she started. Quick, quick, slow. Now, we do a chasse, or sorry, we do the same change of places, but hesitation timing. So the man will do rock, 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 rock. Though the lady is doing still a turn. Rock and ta, rock and back. Nice. Now we do an inside underarm turn. The first part, the man is doing the same chasse. Cha, 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 and now, I'm giving the hand to the lady and she's turning inside. Cha. Now look them all together as one uh, practical group. In place, turn in place. Half turn, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Let's decide, we're doing Venus Waltz, yeah? Uh, uh, Venus Waltz. Otherwise I'm doing Tango, she's doing Venus Waltz and then we're changing. We're doing Venus Waltz? Yeah. Okay. And one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, men's shaft. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Now, men's shaft, same hand hold. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, men hesitation timing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Now, inside underarm turn. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't cross my road. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, the entrance, time. Yes, we have. Look, we do with Venus cross beginning. So you know the rule of four bars and you can do whatever you want in the beginning. I'm giving you an option how we can smoothly transmit and transit into this position because smooth is something not about smooth waving of the hand it's how you can smoothly from the open position get smoothly back into the closed position or smoothly to go from the closed position into the open also the steps or the figures can help you to do this otherwise you will do carda ballet and venus cross one two three two two Three cross body lead. Yeah, so we're in the front position. Now, without any turn, underarm turn, because bronze doesn't allow us to do this, we go three, two, three, four, two, three. And then you repeat whatever we just learned. Change in place, other way around. Then we go chasse, cha, 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 cha. Of course, you can slightly navigate and change the alignment. That is not restricted. You don't need always to face the wall. I can face the camera easily. Now I can do chasse with the one hand hold. You do selfie position. One, two, three, one. Now hesitation timing the same. Hesitation timing the same. Now inside arm turn. Inside arm turn. Nice. As an option, look at this. Tango. Woohoo! We take the position, we go the same in the strokes. Basic reverse, quick, quick, slow. 
quick, quick, slow. I'm not going to the prominent position. I'm keeping the closed position. Now I'm sending my lady quick, quick, and we have a slow action and it is allowed and it is very, um, uh, very tango movement, which is probably from Argentine tango, a tap and tap. So you can do this as an ex uh, exclusion uh, of the syncopation without changing the weight, but you can do that in bronze. So you can do a brush, a tap, you can call it any way uh, you like, but that will give a flavor to the tango. Now you can repeat the same. So without a rise and falls, because this is a tango, we go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then we do chasse, quick, quick, slow. Quick, sorry, my fault. <laughs> chasse, quick, quick, slow. Now, chasse, same hand hold, slow. Ooh, chasse, slow. Hesitation, slow. Hesitation, slow. Sha, a, se, and um, turn. Now, as the end part, we do step, point, step, point, back, side, close, which is actually as a part of the open fan. There is a figure open fan, but you can see that we are doing it is similar to step, point, is we call it. For our students, it's more understandable rather than open fan step point. And you can do as a step point, or you can do as a flare. Flare is something that is more rounded, more circular, more fluid. So if I will do a Venus walls as the ending part, I will do it as a flare, probably. As a Venus walls, we can do flare. Let's do a uh, ronde, yeah? End part and flare flare and one two three and again so after we finished all the change of places we do as a flare flare and we can go actually to the reverse turn straight away that's not the problem if i would do a tango i would do a step point definitely that gives more staccato action to our movement step point step point quick quick slow if you have several students, one student can do this way, the other can be a little bit more advanced and it can have step, point. We change places now. She goes on my step and she turns point and we still repeat back, side, close. So this is option number two, which you can use a lot in bringing back smoothly to the close position. Step. Point, step, point, quick, quick, slow. Nice. So I think here we are. That is a short, a brief, a very uh, Russian way of presentation like we have in five minutes to compete and that's how we learn smooth. Uh, we dedicated a lot of time to learn all these basic steps. We passed through the, uh, through the head to the, to, to the feet not from the feet to the head. And uh, I must say sometimes for your students might be a good idea to get firstly the feeling of the style and then to start to learn the basic steps. Though, as I said, basics are fundamentals. Without them, you cannot go any further. Yes, thank you. And Olga, thank you very much for this fantastic lecture. Thank you very, very much. And may I now hand over to Hannes, uh, maybe some questions are coming sure. from, the, from the people. Just stay for a few sure. minutes. Yes, okay? Yes, I'm here. We are here. Yeah. Okay, Hannes. I'm, here. I'm waiting for people to write into the chat. I can see five messages on the chat. I don't know. Uh, should I read them or Hannes can? No. <laughs> uh, Elder, you have a worst example of, uh, okay, sorry, I'm sorry, that's not the message I want to read. <laughs> joking, joking, no message um, like this. You can well, read. at the moment, nobody is raising their hand. Um, if anybody that is attending this uh, webinar would like to ask a question, please raise your hand and I can allow you to talk to Elder directly through your connection. 
Let's see if that works. Okay. People are a bit shy. I have a question oh, to all of you. I have a question to all of you. Why we don't the next Blackpool when we'll have a party do several smooth dances on our uh, social uh, party when we'll have a gin tonic or whatever you want, a wine, and we really do some basic steps of smooth. Then we switch to Argentine tango and then we do uh, swing. I think that will be a proper oh, oh, development of social dancing. I have a question from Cornel Tataro. I will allow him to switch on. Okay. Cornel? Hello. 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 Do you hear me? Do yes. you hear me? I, yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to see it. And uh, for sure, we wait for the next lesson as, as quickly as possible. It was great. Thank you very, very much. In a couple of hours, if you wish. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All the best. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Once again, um, Olga and uh, Edar, thank you very, very much. And as you say, maybe we see you sure in the near future. Um, I will contact you then. Once again, thank you. Thank you very much. And